Welcome back to uh, today's video. This is an overview of my uh, TCM UK uh, Pinder Probe install on my Ender 3. So, this is a. Uh, let me just uh, bring the camera down. So, this is uh, my Pinder Probe here. This is the TCM UK uh, Pinder Probe. Uh, it's the, the Mark the Prusa Mark II variant which has the three wires it comes in comes installed with uh, with this uh, clip this uh, pin already um, so basically I took it out of this I let me just pull the wires out put some uh, DuPont connectors on it let me just pop the camera down so you can see there we go um, Basically, the cable comes all. It's all nicely. Uh, it's a nice cable to a point. Oh, I've got it. I say it's fed down here. What you can see comes down here, and I've uh, extended it with some. Um, I had a spare stepper motor cable, so I've uh, taken the three cables and I've put Dupont connectors on them. Two for the end stop. One for five volts, and that's pretty much it. It's just it's just a five volt inductive sensor, M8 uh, thread style, small pinder. So yeah, these basically replace the standard Ender 3 um, end stop. You just undo the wires and pop that out. Split these off, and those just literally plug straight into. Let me just. Oh, I've lost my stand. There we go. So you got the the, the Z end stop here. So you plug the the green and blue wires in. On that. Uh, that way around. Blue 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 furthest away, green closest. They just plug straight on top of there. And then the power pin goes to the top pin on this on this uh, uh, auxiliary set of pins. That's a five volt pin out there. So the red wire just goes to that, and that's uh, as easy as it is really. Obviously, you need to extend the wire, solder solder some longer wires onto it, and then just feed it up and out. But this does not work with the TH3D Unified firmware. I tried, I could not get it to work. Every time it tried a home, it sensed it as triggered. So I actually ended up going straight to Pure Marlin. Took out, the, I slimmed all the menus down and so on and so forth. But as you can now see, the, the light is on. The light is on on the Pinder Probe. Um, I haven't done anything else but that's pretty much it just close it back up feed the cables back through nice real easy install really if you're good uh, efficient at a little bit of uh, soldering let me just pop pop that back up there that should hold I've got a 5x5 grid pattern on this because I've still got the the springs on the bed. Um, I will be moving to some uh, solid mounts once I can source and determine which ones would be best. I would order some from TH3D but the import charges and that to the UK would be astronomical. Pop this one back in there. There's a screw hole. There it is. So yeah, this mount is available on Thingiverse. It comes up as the everyone. I'll leave it. Every everyone pinned a probe. I'll leave a link for it down below. But. Uh, prepare. Oh no, where 
just uh, I'm not do a bad level from here. Just do an auto home. I do need to increase the, the homing speed. But homes X and Y, and then uh, moves down to center of the bed and levels. So basically, it just replaces the the, the Z min end stop cables. It's got a two millimeter sensing distance. It's an inductive sensor. So it works quite well with my uh, everyone Magflex PEI plate. And I've got a Z offset of 0.8. Yeah, I need to sort the, the homing distance out on this. But it was fairly simple to do. Printed out the mount. The mount does need, I do need to redesign the mount a little bit. But it does work. As you can see, this way it's going to crash into bed. Oh, there we go. And that's it really, you just, I've just got it looped, cable tied, looped round, I do need to tidy these uh, cable ties up. Just like that. And that's it really, it's, um, I've got 5.5, .5. I need to enable the bed level on the screen I suppose, because I haven't actually got it on there. Nope, I'll have to see about adding that to the screens. I thought there was a, but no, I've uh, cut down on the on the, the menus and a few other features that um, aren't needed to be able to fit it all onto the board. But it works, it gives me nice layers, as long as I've got the, the springs and that all set up quite nicely as a, the standard manual bed leveling to start with. It does level quite nicely. It comes packaged in a nice, nice pack, and that's it. Really, it's a fairly easy, straight inf install. You separate the the two, the three wires out. The red goes to five volt positive, and then the other two wires go to the end stop, and that's it. I hope uh, this helps someone if they're interested in doing this. If you want more information or you want more of an index in install, then uh, let me know in the comments down below. I'll leave a link to the probe that I bought and the link to the mount for it. And I'll s hope you liked the video. I know it's short, but quick overview of my install of Pinder Probe. And I'll see you in the next video. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you later. Bye.